Okay, in this one we're going to be setting different pump pressures and we're going to check efficiencies at different pump pressures and we'll uh, uh, note that this thing has a 0.7 gallon per hour rating. It has a 0.65 nozzle in it right now. So we're going to see what we can do to make the efficiency as high as possible by pump adjustments and air adjustments. Okay, we got 7.5% O2, uh, excess air, oh, let's see, it's 52%, it's a little bit high. Uh, but we still end up with about 74% efficiency. So I'm going to take and I'm going to adjust the pump pressure down. Okay, we're adjusting this thing down. About as low as I'm going to be able to get, 75. A lot of them won't go very low. So I'm at 75 pounds. Now we'll go check our efficiency. Okay, you notice our excess air has gone up to 74, and I think it was 58 or whatever. I'll have to double check that. Uh, our O2 went up too. So our stack temperature went down. So do I have a higher efficiency burn? Okay, my efficiency's actually gone down to 72% from 74. So I don't have as good a burn. One of the reasons it went down is I'm not burning everything. The droplets are too large. And so uh, that's why we got this thing with excess air going up so much. Okay, so the conclusion is that if we reduce the pressure from 100 to about 75, we are going to end up with a higher excess air, mostly because we're not burning as many of the droplets. That's why the O2 uh, is higher, because it is not mixing with the droplets and being burned. So when you get the ex high excess air, um, then you're also going to get a lower stack temperature because it's cooling down the flame. So droplets are too big with low pressure to burn completely. So we end up with a high excess air, a higher O2, and a lower stack temperature adds up to an inefficient burn. Of course, there's a lower efficiency also. And next, we're going to go ahead and increase the pump pressure.